What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to another video. This will be customizing the brand new BF Club is probably Lusano Summer Special Update. Is right here. Almost $1.3 million for what is essentially an older compact car. That, that's pretty crazy. But the prices just keep getting crazier and crazier every update. No surprise there. Uh, here is the vehicle right here. I already bought it. Doesn't look too crazy stock, but I think once we're able to see the customization options for it, Maybe we can make it look a little better. So it's primarily based on three vehicles mixed together. The Volkswagen Golf Mark 1, the first generation Ford Fiesta XR2, and the Volkswagen Polo Mark 1. So pretty interesting mix there. And we got this out of it. Pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and see what kind of customization we got for it. It's in the compacts class, so that's confirmation there. That's good. What are you after? Armor, bodywork, will be competitive with the Briozo and Conjo. I doubt it, honestly, but who knows. Sticker bomb, carbon, what is this? Stock door panels? Oh, back here. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can sticker bomb this, this whole thing. I mean, you can select multiple options in this category, but that's... Uh, you wow. Can think it, I can do it. Interesting. Okay. Brakes. Bumpers. Remove from bumper. That's a cleaner look. Chrome stock from bumper. Low level from bumper. Full from bumper. I like that a lot. Carbon racing. Mounted oil cooler. Racing kit. That looks similar to the Retinue Mark II upgrades. Long and hard. Competition kit. With a tow hook and everything, oh, a tow strap. <laughs> That's funny. I like the uh, this one a lot. The full bumper. That's a nice one. Girl Look at that. Good. Ooh, it looks a little cleaner without the. Do it like that for now. Remove rear bumper. That looks crazy. Chrome. Low level, full bumper, and carbon. Hmm. Full bumper. What's the difference between this? Oh, this adds that piece down there okay but it kind of hides the exhaust so it kind of depends what kind of build you're doing there I think a low level front bumper will look a little better engine exhaust okay so we got let me rev it up here you can't rev and zoom at the same time sadly but go here we got chrome tuner track exhaust chrome track Performance, big bore, big bore chrome, and then the blast pipes. I think the large chrome one going off to the side, that looks pretty sick. Let's do that. Fenders, got half covers, what this makes them a little wider, or their covers, okay. And then full covers, I guess full covers, headlight covers, tape. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to keep my headlights. Um, hood. Remove hood. Just straight up <laughs> remove hood. That's pretty funny. Sticker bomb hood. Carbon. Ooh, low level vented hood. That's nice. Club racing. Twin vented. Competition. That one looks pretty sick. Skinned hood. So it's like a bunch of pieces. Okay. The vented one's really nice. Let's do that. I've got that installed for you. Lights. Might as well do xenon. Li oh, there's liveries. Okay. Stripes. Retro stripes. That's different. Half tone flames. Jackal retro. That's nice. I like that one a lot. I might do that one. Sticker down. Wow, so I think you can pretty much sticker bomb this entire oh, car if you put the sticker, uh, this this sticker option and all the other parts. That's pretty funny. The Santos Customs, very simple, kind of blue accents everywhere. Racing, bigness. Okay. Military panels, that's interesting. Military camo, war club, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool looking. Technology Beater. 
Nice, okay. More reliable, even more rust. Okay. Junkyard, okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Pretty interesting. That's a lot of delivery options there, but I like this one a lot. Jackal Retro. Let's do that. License plate. How many cars you got in this garage again? Where's my. I have a plate for this. Where is it? Ah, there it is. There's my plate. Portable. <laughs> Hopefully, those of you get it. Let's do that. Uh, we'll do plate. Black plate. We'll leave there black. it is. Respray. I'm gonna go metallic. I think a red will look awesome on this. Do that. Maybe without the pearlescent. Yeah, it's Reno red. Nice. What's our secondary? Let's, I guess any secondary options you choose. Brake calipers aren't changing. Nothing in the front. I can't see anything in the engine bay changing. Interior, maybe? No. So I guess it's only secondary options that you choose. So it's black for now. I guess I'll just leave it like that. Crumble them goes on your hood. Okay. Roof. Window louvers. That's cool looking. I like that a lot. Chrome roof rack. Mop. What? What is this? Speakers attached to the roof? Okay. Competition tires. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Definitely the louvers. That's cool looking. I would have loved to have done the louvers and the rack. Or maybe... Actually, these racks are a little bit too big. I think a, a, a small rack in black with the louvers, I think, would have been sick. Your spoiler. Plastic roof wing. Oh, look, this adds traction. So. Primary roof. Plastic drift wing. Oh my gosh. Competition wing. Whoa. We're getting the bigger spoilers. I like the primary. It's nice. Sun strips. Alright, you got that sun strip. You got sun strip cover, so it covers the pack of windows. Okay. Sticker bomb. Sticker bomb covers. Carbon and then carbon covers. <laughs> Okay, a carbon sunstrip. I've never heard of that before. That's okay. Suspension, lowered street, sport, and <laughs> that's so funny. Should we slam it? Should we? Ah, whatever. Yeah, let's slam. Transmission, <laughs> turbo. <laughs> this this poor car. Wheels. Let's check out the newer street. We'll see if we find anything in the street. We could definitely find something cool in here. This one might look sick and black. These are the Nebula wheels. That's nice. Oh wow, there's a lot of good wheels in here. Do you need a drink? Those Bubbles would look sick in here. There's a lot of good wheels here. The deep, those deep dish Cosmo Mark Twos. That's wow, those wheels are super. That's wow. These new wheels are awesome. No rush at all. Those look sick. Cosmo Mark III. They're like a little bigger. I think the Mark II is what? Like the perfect. Yeah. That's that's literally perfect. And black? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is awesome. Literally looks like I just saw one of these at a car show. It's perfect. I also forgot to show the new tire designs they have. Let me show that here really quick. Pretty similar for the uh, F1 tires. That there. Okay. Windows. Some light smoke, I guess. And that's it. Whatever Not bad. This thing looks pretty sick. Technology and budget for me. Exit to ground. Let's see how this thing drives, even though it's literally dragging on the <laughs> pavement. <laughs> Alright, see how it sounds? This car is so small. <laughs> sounds very familiar. I can't pinpoint what it is, but it sounds very familiar. 
I've heard that sound before in another car. That was a little bit like the Fudo. It's got the Fudo similar to the Fudo gauges too. Accelerates pretty good. Pretty decent acceleration. This thing goes pretty fast. That's not bad. For a compact car, this thing is flying. The handling is not bad either. Wow. This thing's pretty zippy. <laughs> it's a cool little car. Just so expensive though. Like why should they why should players have to pay so much money for something like this? I think it's a little overkill sometimes. You know, for like a sports or supercar or a classic car, I get it. Or, or a race car, but for something like this, that's like a normal car, I, it's a little overkill. Oh. Nope, sorry, goodbye. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's pull over here. Let's see. This is fun. I like this a lot. A lot more than I thought I would, honestly. Let's um, let's open it up. Let's see if doors open. Let's see what we got here, and everything opens. Nice. Well, I assume the trunk opens since we have the remove hood option. Okay, got the interior there, very similar to the Fudo. Got the hatch area with the. Oh, yep. See, when you put the lowest suspension, your 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 tires are in. <laughs> They go past your wheel wells as they... <laughs> oh, jeez. That's funny. Awesome car. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no. <laughs> is it a little overpriced. Um, uh, is it fun to drive and fun to customize? 100%. Um, whether it's worth it to you to buy it, I I personally wouldn't recommend it if you know, you're on a, you're on a budget. But, I mean, if you have a ton of money, I guess, you know, why not? And if you don't like it, you can just sell it afterwards. So, yeah, not too bad. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.